What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are testing out something a little bit uh, kind of reminiscent of some past decks that we've played, but it is an is it kind of prowess focused deck. Uh, and the idea here is really brought about with Stormwing, Stormwing Entity. Uh, this is a new card from Corset 2021. I believe the only technically new card unless, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the only new card. But uh, it does bring about something really, really nice, which is a very strong Spells Matters theme. Uh, this is a 3-3 three, three for 5 with Flying and Prowess. But if you've cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn, it costs two and a blue less to cast. So you can actually get this down very, very cheap. Uh, and then when it enters the battlefield, you scry two. So you can fix your next couple of draws. It's a very good, strong, evasive threat. And of course, given that we are in a spells matters list, this gives us a really, really quick way to finish the game in the air. Uh, now, in addition to that, we of course have our crackling drake and our Sprite Dragon, uh, both of which are very, very aggressive threats, all focused around that Spells Matters theme as well. Uh, we've also got Bone Crusher Giant here, more for the shock end than the actual 4-3 end, but this does give us a nice uh, three drop creature if need be to kind of drop this down and hopefully get some some extra damage in if we need to uh, The rest of the deck here is essentially just tons and tons of instants and sorceries So four ops here to help us draw cards crash through to help us draw cards But also provide trample for our creatures. So uh, in certain pinches This does give us the ability to kind of punch through those last points of damage uh, Keep in mind a lot of this deck is actually sorcery based not necessarily instant base uh, and so like skewer the critics is the very same way we have to be very careful of how we play this based on either it being an instant or sorcery and not, a lot of times you would expect a card like this to be an instant in play testing I realized wait crap I misplayed <laughs> um, so you do have to be very careful of that uh, infuriate here is a great way to just pump up a creature for a very efficient amount of mana uh, for shocks here as a way to deal with some other creatures uh, but also punch through some damage as well uh, raking claws is a two of uh, this is a really, really good card. So for two mana, you give a creature double strike until the end of the turn. Obviously, if this has gotten any counters on it, or if we can pump either of these guys up, Raking Claws is going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, not only that, but it does also cycle away. Uh, we do have Skewer the Critics here as a way to deal just three damage to any target. So if we need to hit the opponent, or if we need to hit a creature, we certainly can do so. And then Finale of Promise here, X and two red for a sorcery. You can cast up to one instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Uh, each with a converted mana cost of X or less. So you get one of each, just to clarify. Um, if, a spell, if, if a spell would be cast this way, uh, instead of putting it into your graveyard, exile it. Uh, if X is 10 is more, copy each of those spells twice. Uh, and you can choose new targets for those copies. So this is a bit of a finisher for us, but it's also a way to kind of recur a lot of these little cheap spells that we've got going on. Uh, as far as the land count goes, we are at 22, so 9 and 9 on the basics, and then 4 on uh, the steam vents, and that's it. It's a pretty straightforward list, but uh, again, this is a very good base template, I think. Uh, we kind of had this idea with, um, oops, there we go. Uh, we kind of talked about this with the green-white uh, counters deck. That, that, that was a very base stock list. This is not something that's necessarily going to be the final list or the one that you necessarily want to go for, but it gives you a lot of options and a lot of ideas to kind of build off of. Uh, and that's exactly what this list is. So hopefully this is a an inspiration moment for you guys to hopefully take it and uh, see what you can do with it. Because I do think there's a lot that you can do uh, with decks like these. I think it's very, very fun too. So um, this hand is not amazing. Um, but we do have a nice one, two, and then three, of course, with Bone Crusher Giant. And you can see why Bone Crusher Giant uh, does make some sense in here. Just that we can deal with a creature if we need to, and then we can kind of play this out uh, as we see fit. So hopefully uh, this will work out, but we'll see. Um, we don't have any of our big heavy hitters, though, and that's kind of the, the downside to this. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. That is one of our big heavy hitters, though, so we're going to keep that. Um, and maybe this becomes our two drop play here. We'll see um, This could very well be the enchantment stack um, But I think we'll go ahead and do this still um, This also allows us to just go ahead and get in for a little bit of damage at least which is good can start the attack damage uh, rolling uh, This is a pretty heavy target as well uh, in a deck like this You have to expect that they're gonna have maybe a banishing light or something to try and deal with this So we'll we'll certainly see um, yep, so it would have probably been better to have bone crushered it, but that's okay. We, we learn, um, 
that might have been a pretty big misplay though I will say so we'll we'll see um let's do this and then we'll do a we'll crash through here uh, so each of these are gonna get a counter we're also gonna get to draw a card which is pretty nice um, but we do have to be fairly careful with this skewer the critics wow I wish we had had that earlier we could have technically we could have crashed through first and then tried to do this which you know we just didn't know but that's okay we can double up on these spells next turn and deal five damage to the Alciad if we need to so there is potential there very good card um, all right let's do this oh uh, let's see Hmm. Let's do this. Uh, this is a bit of an odd play, I get it, but let's attack in here and let's see what they do. Perfect. That was exactly what we wanted. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of this. There we go. All right. That worked out. Um, that was exactly what we wanted to do. Uh, we do have to use these removal spells to keep clearing the board pretty regularly. And now, I mean, we are in a position where we've got quite a lot of power on the field, which is great. Um, but we will see uh, what we can do here. Um, technically, I should have probably opted first, but we'll we'll see what they do. Um, okay, they're just gonna give up. Well, hey, we got there. I like it. Uh, very very nice. So. Uh, that's exactly what the deck is looking to do though is just one for one answer a lot of their uh, creature spells and then hopefully burn them out or uh, finish the game off with some of these really really powerful creatures so very much enjoyed that um, just want to mention to everybody we do still have our Corset 2021 bundle giveaway going on right now if you're interested in entering all you got to do is subscribe to the channel well wow, this is a pretty great hand uh, just subscribe to the channel uh, and comment. It can literally be on any video with hashtag uh, core bundle or core 2021, I believe. Um, and that's it. That's all you've got to do. Uh, if you do that, you're entered to win and um, we'll send we'll be picking the winner on the uh, 6th, which is uh, Monday, the Monday after it drops in paper. Uh, so that way we can get that out for you guys. So uh, if you're interested, please make sure you enter. <clears throat> Uh, we'd certainly appreciate the support, but it's also a great way for you to hopefully get a free bundle, which would be pretty sweet. So that is the goal. All right, so mono black. That's fine. We can easily kill that, so that's good. Um, let's do this first. Ooh, yeah, I like you. Um... We can just play this out, um, but we don't want to get too many counters on this guy. So let's just go ahead and shock this. <clears throat> um, we're investing quite a bit in this Sprite Dragon, which is a little bit dangerous against this kind of deck, but um, you know we'll, we'll do the best we can here. I think that that just makes it even more of a target, and if they're spending their mana to kill this and not you know play creatures and stuff, then that's great. Um, but yeah, exactly what we thought would happen. They kill that and that's perfectly fine. Um, wow, that's really good actually. Uh, let's play you. Um, mm, I don't know if I should do that. I'm going to wait. Um, I didn't need to shock myself. That was a mistake, but that's okay. Uh, it does give us the ability to leave up bone crusher giant here, which I think is worthwhile, but uh, didn't necessarily have to do that, I will say. Okay. And this is what I mean. They're just um, going to have to be answering our stuff, which is better for us, obviously. So We'll just go ahead and play out the Stormwing Entity. Um, don't particularly want that. Uh, I will take that, though. Um, Crash through doesn't seem all that great, but the fact that it replaces itself in a spells matters list is very, very good. Uh, just because it makes sure that, you know, we can get through quite a bit of damage if we need to. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and prowess this guy up. Finale. Okay. Um, let's attack here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and skewer the critics on this. We can't really have them gaining life. Uh, unfortunately, that's that's a big hit against us, so we are going to play it that way. 
So, sorcery instant, we can do that. We can start really going ham with this, which does mean we might be able to uh, to win it. I do have to make sure, so when you cast a target instant, one target sorcery from your game, each with converted mana cost of X or less. Okay. All right, so if we do this, um, it actually doesn't matter, but we're gonna do two just to be safe. We want you and we want you. Auto pay, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna shock them. We're gonna draw a card. This can't block us, so this guarantees us the win. There we go. And that's exactly it. That was perfect. Uh, I've not played much with Finale, so that was a bit of a first for me. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure that I was reading it correctly. We did not have to pay two mana into it. We could have just paid one, but that's okay. Uh, nobody has to know, it's fine. Uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying this new set though. I've really, really been enjoying it. We've tried to push a lot of gameplay out for you guys. Um, I'm hoping that I can get this one up the day of recording, which is Saturday. Um, unfortunately, I've got a fairly busy weekend, so I'm going to do the best I can to get it up, but may not happen exactly when we'd like it to, but that's fine. Um, this is a weird hand. Um, for the sake of science, let's try it. Uh, it's got a la the lands that we need. We just don't have an early game threat. Um, but we do have a skewer of the critics, which is going to help us kind of deal with what they've got to do. Even if we do have to pay full price for it, we can do that. Uh, and opt, hopefully, is going to help us get to the cards that we need. Uh, so that's obviously the goal. Uh, looks like a Simic Flash or Simic Ramp deck. Um, not gonna play that. If I think if it was Simic Ramp, we would have seen something by now, though. So it's probably just Simic Flash, um, which is not necessarily good for us, but that's okay. We'll do the best we can. Um, there is a world where we cycle this, though. Is there not? I think we might end up cycling this. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, if we can get something like a Sprite Dragon, that would be good. There we go. All right, let's get Sprite Dragon down. Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Mm. Again, this is where the instant and sorcery kind of thing really matters. Uh, I'm gonna try and skewer them. Uh, this might be incorrect, I don't know, but I, uh, I kind of want to see how that plays out. Technically, it would have been better to like crash through uh, and then attack in. Uh, so that was a bit of a mistake on my end, but that's fine. Uh, I kind of want to start getting more instants and sorceries in the graveyard for this Crackling Drake. Chances are they're going to have something uh, pretty good this turn if this is Simic Flash. Oh, this is just a ramp. I assume. If they've got a sorcery speed cultivate in their deck, then I can't imagine this is too heavily skewed towards the, uh, the counter side and the instant side. We also haven't seen many instance or sorceries on their end so uh have to feel fairly safe but um we do want to get our threats spread out a little bit uh chances are in these colors there's no sweepers or anything as well so hopefully we will be safe all the ramp all the all the ramp uh lots of ramp decks going around right now i was probably playing or, or you probably saw i was playing around with a bit of a um a uh, Simic Ugin deck, uh, which I thought would be very, very fun, and I do think can be, um, but definitely has its faults. Um, not that it's a bad deck by any means, but definitely has its faults. Uh, let's do this. <clears throat> so this is nice because, again, we're really getting to, to show, our, show off a little bit here. Um, okay, well, I mean, we're just going to main phase do this, I think. It doesn't really matter. Um, and that wins us. There we go. Three straight games, three straight wins. I am loving it. This deck is very, very efficient. Um, definitely like this one. I'm going to summarize our thoughts more in detail, uh, when we get to the end of the second video. So I'll keep you posted for that. But, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this deck. I really, really like this one. I think this is this is very much a me deck. I like the is it kind of spells matters theme. So I'm excited to be playing this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to leave a deck suggestion for us. I know we've got a few on the back stock end of things. So we're going to be going through those very, very soon. I just picked a quick list today because again, it's a bit of a busy one for me, but um, I am excited to kind of try 
try out some different ones. So I hope that you're uh, submitting decks there. Really, really excited to play those. And again, thank you to those who already have. We've got a lot there. So uh, looking forward to getting into part two with this. Hopefully you'll join us. And uh, thank you again for watching, guys. I'll see you very soon for part two with this Is It Prowess deck. I'll see you then.